What? That's right. After like six years, the Power Apps team just changed the way the templates work in galleries. So when you add a vertical gallery, it looks totally different and it has a bunch of little new functionality tied to it. So it caught me off guard today while I was teaching my training class to a private group of people and I don't want to catch you off guard. So I decided to make this quick little video to show you the new behavior because you can't get away from it. It's just there. It affects old apps and new apps and just to make sure that you guys are ready for it. All right, let's switch over to desktop. They look. All right, so I got an app here. I just added a SharePoint data source. Doesn't matter the data source. And I was about to do my normal demo, right? So I was like, insert, vertical gallery. And then it's like, pachow. It looks completely different. And if I add employees, you're like, what in the world? So if you hit play, you're going to see that now they've kind of got this little blue indicator over here on which record I've selected. Also, if I start scrolling, you know, it kind of loads dynamically. Sometimes when I'm scrolling, I've even seen it um, with a little loading spinner as it went and refreshed the data. So depending on how quickly it got the data back, it will even put its own little loading thing in there. Kind of interesting. Now, what's really weird about this, though, is that there's even more going on than you can necessarily see here. So I'm going to change my screen's background color to, I don't know, this orange color right here. And so here, that's so dark. You can see that there's even a white bar that's a little difficult to see. Now, with your gallery selected, you know, all the controls over here are the same. You know, the control itself is the same, with one little caveat I'll throw at you in a second, but the layouts are all different. So, you know, if I change this one, right, it's expanded. You know, a lot of times we kind of use one of those as a jumping off spot, and I might click in here on the actual gallery itself. And if I start to resize it, ugh. This white bar is actually a rectangle called separator two, and it does not dynamically move when you resize. It's all right. To make it dynamic, if you wanted it to behave the way it should have, it's not the X property, Shane, it is the Y property. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna say, hey, I need you to be parent uh, template height minus self, right, which is the control itself. Oh, I hate that the auto select stuff doesn't work as well. Self height. And now you can see that the white is at the bottom. And if I resize in any way, the white uh, bar there is going to stay the same. Also, right, you're keeping in mind, though, I couldn't even see the white bar until what? Until we changed the background color, which is a little weird. Now, so to try to kind of understand more what's going on, let me open up another app real quick. One sec. So here I'm in an existing app, right? Because I wanted to show you that this change is going to bleed through. So if I'm in this existing app and I insert a vertical gallery, we're going to see it, and we'll hook that up to employees as well. Notice that the color, right, the little bar that was white on the other side is a different color here. I cannot find any rhyme or reason as to what color that is going to be or why it chooses to be different colors. I don't know if I did something in this app, but that is something to note is that the little separator two, or in this case, separator seven now, but whatever that bar is, it does seem to have different colors. Even scarier though, what happens, right? This gallery was over here, it was working. I built this one a long time ago, no big deal. What happens with this one if I'm like, oh, you know, I want to show a different layout. Notice it says no layout selected. You can tell that I'm using one of the default layouts, right? Because it's ugly. I, that was mean, but you know what I mean. But so what if I go over here and be like, all right, well, I want you to use the image title and subtitle, which would just be this and just add another row, right? No, ma'am. What's going to happen is it is going to apply the new layouts. So there is no way to apply the old layouts. So if you really were in love with those, I'm sorry, they, they don't come through. But you can also kind of see, notice that now the picture got a little bit smaller. I guess it control Z and kind of pay more attention this time. Notice the default picture size is smaller. And then, you know, the text is uh, different, right? Like it used to be that the text was, you know, a different size for the top row and then the two bottom rows. Now they're all the same font size, the same font colors. Also notice the little blue bar, right? That is the one that is doing. So let's go back to the app, the new app, all right? So what is that bar? That is called rectangle two. And so what they've done for this one is they've said it's visible property to be if this item is selected true, false. Now, if you've ever taken one of my training classes, you know, I would have never written it this way. I would have written it like this, hint, hint, right? I know a lot of people that watch it that might have a say in how that works. But so then that would be how you control whether or not that shows up. 
And then of course, you know, you control its color, its fill and all those things. And you can still, what, what have we always really done with galleries, right? Is we've most, most likely went here and said, hey, template fill. And so you could repeat that formula as well if you wanted to change your gallery to be completely done, right? That would look something like this. And so now the selected record's got the little blue indicator over here, and then it's got that nice green color. And if we select different records, right, it's moving around. And so that's just that same formula that we've always written. If this item is selected, make it a color. If not, make it transparent. Technically, you leave the transparent off and not put anything there, but we don't care. Now, you might also be noticing, right, that the font sizes and stuff are changing here. So if we click on this, and so like if we look here at font, let's just kind of check the different pieces. So size is always just 14, good. What about its color? Its color doesn't change. And then what about its weight? I mean font weight. It's font weight, ah, so there you go. So that's what they're doing. So they're not changing the color of the size, they're just changing it from um, semi-bold to normal, depending on whether or not uh, that is the currently selected record. So they're using is selected a lot. So if you are one of those people like me that doesn't use is selected, you use like the var record method, there's several different places we're gonna to need to make some updates. The last little piece of this, um, they did also ship a new property. So if we just insert a label outside of our gallery, um, you know, we used to always do count rows and then our gallery one dot all items like that, right? And that tells you there's 17 rows. Keep in mind now, instead of that, they've given us a built-in property for it. And that is going to be gallery one dot all items count. So they just have a built-in count. Remember though, all items and all items count is not checking the data source. It's not saying data source, how many things do you have? It is just asking the gallery how many items are currently in there. So if you've got more than a hundred items and paginations kicked in, you're not going to see the full count. So you know, that's, that's always been the same whether it was all items or all items count. That's not new, I just, if you didn't know that, I wanted you to know that. Lots of fun stuff here. What I was hoping you would see that's not cooperating, but like when I was demoing it for my class this morning, um, I was getting the little loading spinners that kind of kept popping up when I would scroll through these. Um, you know, so that's this whole delay item loading is set to true now. And then if you look, there is a loading spinner. And so then that's the little data looking little circle we see. And then you can even set the colors here. And so it's using the current border color. So in this case, it would have been blue. So this morning that was working great or it was it's, it's working either way, but this morning my computer was running so slow that it kept needing to use the loading spinner. So it was neat to see those. I wish I'd captured that so I could show you guys. Maybe I'll try to steal that from the class and put a little thing up on the screen. We'll see. Real just quick video to walk you through that these galleries have changed. You know, it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. It's progress. I, I, I like what they did, but it caught me so off guard. I wanted to make sure that I gave you guys the heads up on this and just gave you those quick little tips on how to work with it so you don't have, you know, any like, ooh, what do I do? Now you know. Remember, I've always got all the training classes, so you could have been like the people that had the private training class today. You could have private training. You could have public training. You could have on-demand, live. I got all types of training options. Come join me for a training class sometime. Thoughts, comments, leave them below. And with that, I'm gonna say thanks and have a great day.